What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? That was a great, great clap. Today, we have a new-ish pistol red dot from Swamp Fox. It is the Sentinel-2, and let's get right into it. Most important, the footprint. It is a micro uh, RDS, so it takes the RMSC footprint, which is good. By far, the most common footprint. Um, the one unique feature I want to call out right away is in front of the lens, you'll see there's two little screw holes, and you can actually screw in a rare sight. So if the gun you're putting it on loses the rare sight. When you put a red dot on, there's a way to add in a rare sight. I thought that was unique and kind of cool. And you can get it with tritium, or you can get it all blacked out, however you prefer. Now your battery is a standard 20, uh, CR2032, which is good. Solid battery life of uh, 50,000 hours. The only drawback here is a bottom battery uh, a bottom battery loads when the battery dies take it off replace the battery go ahead and confirm your zero it's probably the only con i have on this red dot it does have shake awake or grab and go whatever the company wants to call it you let it sit for about four minutes or so and the red dot turns off the second it senses any any movement at all it's very very sensitive it turns right back on that will help your battery life a little bit now before we get into the red dot itself i have two very quick things one my shirt my kill dozer shirt it's one of my favorite designs from tristar trading company not only do they make a lot of really cool designs like kill dozer and let me see uh make tar and feather great again and disobey they have so many cool designs they also make the tiberius gib swag if you want to pick anything up the link is in the video description second i hate when youtubers do this but i'm going to do it i've been receiving a lot of comments that says i was subscribed and i'm no longer subscribed to you on youtube i don't know what's going on i received about a half dozen of them so if you think i'm worthy of a subscription do me that favor double check it subscribe to the channel i appreciate it now let's get into the red dot like a lot of swamp fox it's available in red or green it is a three moa dot and i'm gonna say the dot is uh the dot clarity is is decent and the window clarity is good um your eyesight may be different your model may be different but i think i'm gonna say the dot uh is decent and the and the window clarity is good and uh, let's move on to the controls and the buttons. So the buttons and the controls are very simple and easy. I appreciate that. There's two buttons, one up, one down. Can't get any easier than that. You have 10 brightness settings, the bottom two being night vision compatible, and it's very, very bright dot. Definitely daylight bright, super, super bright, uh, uh, um, in my opinion. Now, up will turn it on, down will turn it off, and that is it. It's as simple as that, super easy. Moving on to your windage and elevation adjustments. Each click is a one MOA adjustment and you have a total of 80 MOA adjustments. All pretty standard stuff. The only thing I wanna say with that is the clicks are very tactile. I hate mushy turn um, dials. It is tactile, you can feel each click and that makes sighting it in definitely significantly easier. All right, up on the screen here is your dimensions. Your weight is actually less than an ounce. The screen is a little bit bigger than the previous version of the Sentinel. It's a 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter window, so it's a little bigger, and it's also recessed in a little bit where the front sight goes, so that should help with durability and scratches and stuff like that. Street price is 269, excuse me, MSRP is 269. Street price at the time I'm making this video is somewhere around 240, 250-ish in that area. Of course, I'll put some affiliate links down in the video description. Hopefully, I can find you a good deal if you're looking to pick one of these up, and let's get into testing. So I've had this red dot for several months. You'll see me shooting this in a t-shirt and then a cold winter jacket. One of the items that I've had for several months before I did the recording. In total, I have about 300 rounds in that area through the red dot. Now I tested it with the iron side shield or whatever they call it. Uh, Swamp Fox offers this metal shield that goes around the red dot. And just to be thorough, I tested it with and without that shield. Um, I did a lot of concealed carry drills. This is gonna go on a concealed carry gun. So that's the kind of drills I did. I did a ton of drawing from the holster you'll see in the b-roll you're seeing here tons of drawing from the holster a lot of transitions any type of drill i could do to pick up that dot is what i try to do with any scope optic red dot whatever um, we also shot our foam and rubber composite training dummies whatever you want to call them back there we shot them a ton as well virtual vtac again link in the video description so through the 300 ish rounds no issues no problems Nothing to report. 
And uh, my biggest pro is going to be the price and the value, what you get for your money. Swamp Fox is a budget friendly brand and they give you uh, a good quality pistol red dot for 250 bucks and that's tough to beat for that price. I like that you can add in the uh, rear sight in front of the red dot, that's kind of cool. I like the simple two button battery design, has a very good battery life and that red dot is extremely bright. As you would expect, my only con is the bottom battery compartment. It's not the end of the world. It has a good battery life, but it is a bummer. We are spoiled here that you have to take the red dot off of the pistol to replace the battery and then double check. Please double check your zero when you do that. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me because this is my carry gun. This is the gun I carry every single day. It's a Shadow System CR920P in a Safari Land Incog, and I've reviewed both of them if you want to check out those reviews. So I guess I can't give it a bit better blessing or nod than saying I carry it every single day and it's good enough for me. Um, I do recommend that Iron Shield. I don't think it's necessary. I don't know how much of an improvement it makes, but being this is a budget friendly, uh, offering for the extra 40 bucks you might as well err on the side of caution and spend the extra 40 bucks for that shield just my opinion all right before you go let me thank swap fox for their support they sent out this red dot for the review and that's very nice of them let me remind you of the affiliate links kill those a t-shirt and all the other dope designs that tristar trading makes the link for that is also in the video description most important, I'm not going to shill anymore. I just want to say thank you for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Again, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribes are the big one. If you think I'm worthy, if you think I'm worthy, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers soon, and I greatly appreciate it. It definitely helps, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!